Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Historian Stitch. Today we are going to be covering uh, applique stitches, um, usually used on quilts, which will probably end up being a post of the week here coming up. Um, this upcoming post of the week should be probably laundering um, for the 1850s because I've been doing a lot of research in the past couple days for said topic um, because at Frontier uh, Sunday I will be demonstrating how to properly launder clothes and when it was done and why and how you did each thing and the tools used for it. Uh, so that will probably be one relatively long post but before I get into the actual applique process and what to do and why I'm even doing this. Um, like, subscribe. Um, we have Facebook. We, I have a Facebook page, Historian Stitch. Um, just gotta look it up and find it. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it for that part. But for the applique, um, what I am working on progressively, uh, I bought. I believe 10 yards, maybe a little more, of cotton velvet, and I'm so excited for this stuff because it's really heavy just to pick up, but at the same time it's super light and breathable and I don't understand. But I have cotton velvet and I don't remember how much beautiful blue silk, um, because I love this color. I am hoping I have enough of it because I'm pretty sure I'm never going to get that exact shade of blue even from the same company again. Um, because the bottom of the skirt that this cotton velvet will turn into, this blue silk is going to be the detailing in it. And that detailing is being based off of an 1860s ball gown or 70, 70s, 1870s ball gown because there's more butt in that picture than hoop. Um, but before I even touched that mess, I needed to know what I was looking at and how it would behave and what size I was looking at, um, because technically there's a wave to it with um, oak leaves that go all the way around attached to that waviness. Um, and just needing a chunk of fabric to see what I'm working with. So I've got about a yard and a half of white to represent my cotton velvet and then a blue cotton for my silk might be problematic though because this is both of these are cotton. This is going to be cotton on silk. I don't know how this is going to behave exactly, and it worries me a little bit, but should work out fine. Fingers crossed. I'm super excited about this. I've been waiting to make this dress for five, six years now, which is honestly really bad, but we're getting there. It's a progress process, um, but basically I've got this much done. This is going to be the upper portion of the skirt. Uh, that goes up to my waistline and then the bottom of it. Well, let me turn this down a little bit. Uh, the bottom of it is going to be this edge um, with that blue. At the moment, I have everything. Well, the moment I have all of the leaves basted down rather than stitched up because I have recently found out after watching a few videos from other people that pinning anything down is, like, I, I always knew that it took forever, but I didn't piece together that there would ever be a quicker variation that you could do that would actually hold it down better. This is it. And I was dingbat for not doing it before because I would tell people I hate basting things down. Still probably not going to do it correctly when a pattern tells me to, but I'm learning. Uh, all sewing is a learning process, even if you've been doing it for 20 years. Um, so here we are. And basically, 
my blue waviness here is already done. I've been working on it at work. And you can kind of see we've got almost a hem stitch on the back, but you can't see any of it on the front. And that is intentional. Um, it's meant to hold it down snugly, but not... Like, you want your stitches small enough and close enough together that it's not going to get snagged and ripped off and chaos erupting. Um, so, I am going to find my thread and open up my housewife here, and we are going to work on one of these for a moment. Um, just so that y'all get the general sense of what an applique stitch is. And, yeah, that will be our how-to video for the day. So, give me just a minute, reset up the camera, and we will go from there. <laughs> Alright, so camera setup is a little wonky, but this is the easiest way for me to show y'all what I'm doing. Um, I've already got my first stitch started here, um, and the thread itself obviously already there. But with applique, you're going to fold down the edges of what you're working on so that you don't have any raw edges showing. Um, can be a bit of a pain, but if you're after a little while, you get better at it and it actually works really well. Um, so I've got my edges folded down and basically, let me pull this stitch through. You're going to go to the outside of your color spot here, poke through, you're going up through the back at an angle to the next spot, so n you go from here to here, give or take, depending on how big of a spot you need. I apologize for the blurriness of this. Um, poke it through, pull up, that's your first stitch. And Usually, you want this to be really even and neat and well taken care of, um, but because this is a sample rather than the finished product, I'm not too terribly worried about it. And my thread is not happy because it is uber humid today, and my house has no air conditioning. Um, cooperate. But yeah, this is one of the many stitches that you would use for quilting, especially of down, make sure everything's folded neatly, poke it back up through, pull tight, and you don't see any of these stitches. Basically because they are so small but still holding down, you're doing fine. Um, if you can see too much of the stitch, you might want to make them a little smaller width-wise. But other than that, it's a pretty forgiving act. You just don't want to whip stitch the whole thing around. Um, that becomes problematic and you have to take it apart and start over like we are having to with one of the quilts at Frontier. So that's the basic gist of an applique stitch of just over, cross behind the back, up, through, do it again. Um, hope that makes a, at least a little bit of sense, um, in probably a drafting video, again, like another version of drafting that I will be doing for this dress. I will have a picture of what I am attempting to create with a little bit of my own flair to it, because why not? Um, then yeah, I will see y'all next time. And, yeah, everybody have a good day.